EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From historic Riviera Country Club in Pacific Palisades, we bring you opening round coverage of the Genesis Invitational. What might we have in store for us over the course of these next four days? We've got big names, we've got dark horses, we've got it all as we look at the leaderboard on this Thursday. Argentinian Emiliano Grillo is your leader. He's at 200 par here to start the tournament. Meanwhile, our featured golfer in good form coming into this one fresh off a victory a week ago. So while you're looking to make birdie at number one, you'd be happy with a par four at this second hole. It's 471 yards, but the winds are a factor. It's a strong par four. Moving now to the 434 yard, par four third at Riviera. Best way to attack here is to carry that fairway bunker on the left to set up a good angle on your approach. Well, this is just a great par three, 236 yards, the fourth hole. And as they like to say on tour, you can't fake this one. This will take your best shot and you'd be happy with a three here. Up next, Riviera's 434 yard par four fifth. A lot to worry about here. Canyon wall and OB on the right, trees down the left, and of course, the iconic grass mound, which cuts into the fairway short of the green. Now to the sixth, affectionately known in some circles as the donut hole. And it's easy to see why. One pot bunker dead in the center of the green. And that's the genius of the hole as it takes away the safe spot and forces you to play target golf. Here's another hole that is distinctly Riviera, 408 yards of par four, but you have that giant bunker going all the way down the left side and then the barranca on the right. Uh, the fairway closes in, pinches at about the 270 yard mark. So with all that's going on and as narrow as it gets, you have to hit it straight off the tee here. The surprises don't stop here on Riviera's front side as we come to the 433 yard par four eight. One of course designer George C. Thomas's all-time favorites, a split fairway is the unique feature here. Like many holes, this one forces you to really have a strategy. We finish up the front side at Riviera with a 458 yard par four ninth, one of the finest par fours in the game. A long straight drive, if you can manage it, will take the two fairway bunkers out of play. Well, this hole, the 315 yard par 4 10th has been talked about so much. If you ask the professionals what's the best short par 4 in the world, most will point to this. It, it's all about options and that little sliver of a green which causes players headaches. This one is, is not just about the length, obviously, but it is a really strategic play. Again, here's a hole where you know instantly you're at Riviera. 583 yard 11th, it's the second par five on the course, but you, you look at those eucalyptus trees lining both sides of the fairway, that's Riviera. And then the grass barranca, which is a couple of hundred yards from the green, you have to factor that in on your second shot. Terrific hole. Up next, a toughie, the 479 yard par 4 12th. It is a gentle left to right, so fading the ball is encouraged. Up near the green, beware of that lone sycamore tree known as the Humphrey Bogart tree, so named because he loved watching golf and relaxing under its shade. Well, here's the genius of the design at Riviera. Number 12 was asking you to hit a little bit of a fade. 13, well, they're telling you to hit a draw. That's a good golf course. When you have to work the ball both ways, this is a really tough driving hole. Up 
Right. Heading out of the 14th, the par three at 192 yards. This green's on a slight incline, and given the ocean air, probably plays a little longer than you think. The narrow green is flanked by two bunkers left and another to the right. Next up, the par 4 15th at 487 yards. It's another one that favors someone who can move the ball left to right off the tee. If you've got enough to work it over that fairway bunker right, it should leave you with an open look to a fairly accessible green. On now to the 16th at 166 yards. It's the smallest green on the course, but the difficulties don't end there. It's also surrounded by three deep and large bunkers. Plus, that tree left of the tee box can get you if you're not careful. Next up, the longest hole on the course at 590 yards, the par 5 17th. It plays slightly uphill the entire way as it works toward the clubhouse and features bunkers on either side of the fairway. Such a unique closing hole, the 18th here at Riviera at 475 yards. You're asked to hit your tee shot onto a 30-foot rise that features hillside to the left and gully to the right. From there, it is a tough approach into the amphitheater green. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From fabled Riviera Country Club just west of Los Angeles, it's live second round coverage of the Genesis Invitational. Things starting to slowly take shape here on this Friday. For some, it is a race for the top prize. For others, it's a fight to stick around for the weekend as we show you the leaderboard. Our leader on this Friday is our featured golfer. Her advantage is a full four shots as she gets set to begin her round. EA Sports and the PGA Tour are proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From one of the all-timers in the world of golf, Riviera Country Club in Southern California, it's third round coverage of the Genesis Invitational. Well, if yesterday was any indication, we should be in for a memorable weekend of golf here as we take in the leaderboard on this Saturday. Our leader here on Saturday is our featured golfer. She's got a commanding lead on the rest of the field as she has been sensational so far. EA Sports and the PGA Tour, so proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From the LA suburb of Pacific Palisades and Riviera Country Club, it's final round coverage of the Genesis Invitational. It is the great challenge that all these golfers face, trying to string four solid rounds together, trying to best mother nature and this course, and trying to beat the entire field as we check the leaderboard. Our leader is indeed our featured golfer. It has been a textbook performance to this point. 